A lot of shredders from the 80s and 90s chose DiMarzio pickups. Such as Paul Gilbert from Mr. Big and solo artist Steve I. In the 80s and 90s, that was pretty much the case. Uh, most of your shredders of, uh, shredders of any credibility were playing uh, either DiMarzio or Seymour Duncan um, pickups, and they were using uh, Super Strats. Um, I'll, probably some of the most uh, popular ones of those were the um, the Ibanez, and uh, in my opinion, you know, a lot of my fa a lot of my favorite players were playing Ibanez guitars and uh, DiMarzio pickups uh, during that time era. And I, a lot of them actually still are. Um, even more notably, you know, players like Yngwie Malmsteen also used DiMarzio pickups. Um, and not just shredders, you know, uh, uh, players like Andy Timmons, um, uh, Eric Johnson, you know, a lot of those guys, you know, have used or have used DiMarzio pickups um, in the past. I first got... Um, I guess uh, introduced to uh, DiMarzio probably back in about '94. Uh, uh, so I basically had a pickup in my um, Ibanez guitar um, go bad, and I called DiMarzio and I figured if I was going to uh, replace the pickup, I might as well go ahead and just uh, customize the sound to exactly what I wanted. I mean, I went through uh, their tech department with every nuance of what I wanted my pickup to do. And they picked out the pickup for me, uh, ordered it from an online supplier, and I've been hooked ever since. And, the, and uh, funny enough, the pickup that I had picked way back then is the pickup that I'm actually doing the review on today, which is the DiMarzio Tone Zone. Another uh, thing that made the Tone Zone uh, unique was um, it was a high out low pickup, it was a pickup that boosted low end frequencies and low mid range frequencies and cut back on treble. Um, so it made a very uh, a very thick um, sounding pickup, a very strong sounding you know chunky pickup. Um, also, but. Uh, a lot of times when you got pickups that were real chunky, the uh, problem tended to be that they were really um, at high gain. They would get very muddy or very, very mushy. Uh, chords would, you know, kind of like uh, just kind of like get lost in the distortion. Uh, with the tone zone, uh, you didn't have that that problem. With the tone zone, the chord articulation was uh, was great. You could hear each individual uh, string in the chord, even at high gain, which uh, really made that pickup also stand out against uh, you know against other manufacturers and against other uh, some other pickups in the DeMarzio oh. line. And one of the coolest, most new, uh, coolest, most unique thing about the Tone Zone was the voicing of the pickup. It has a um, the sound is a what they call a open vowel type sound. Uh, I would describe that as kind of sound like a wah pedal set at half cock, uh, and it's a uh, so it's, it's, it's a very unique sound, but it's a very good sound. And to its credit, to the other pickups out there that, that pull off that sound, it's a very unique sound. And if that's what you're looking for, you know, you want to get a pickup, you know, something like that. Like I said before, the chords really maintain their integrity when they high gain. Which is awesome if you're wanting to, you know, you know, do some sort of, you know, play where you're still going to incorporate, you know, four chords, you know, at the same time. It's really good. Help. Another thing uh, that it does really good is, like I said, it has that kind of like that open vowel type sound. Now that's also with the mids, you know, really, really screwed. If you take the, <clears throat> add the mids back to it a little bit, you get more of a, you can hear the open wall a little bit more. Another thing to note, 
is that the pickup is, you know, very harmonically rich. It also has a, um, a lot of sustain in this pickup as well. So it has enough output to be considered a high gain pickup, but it doesn't have near enough um, output to be considered one of DiMarzio's hottest. I mean, uh, with the X2N um, logging in at a whopping 510 millivolts in output, it, you know, it's definitely not. But it is definitely, in my opinion, <clears throat> but it is definitely, in my opinion, one of the more unique sounding uh, pickups in DiMarzio's range. <laughs> using these two. But it's not bad still. Now you heard that. Let me go right to the... A little hard. Where the pickup shines is still in its, its high gain. I definitely believe that the DiMarzio Tone Zone is not a, a one-trick pony. It's definitely worth uh, uh, giving a listen to, uh, whatever your music style, um, you know, may be. Um, like I said, even if you're, even if high gain is not for something like uh, growing on 20 years there's something to be said for that type of um, longevity um, you know if you want a company that makes a good product stands behind their product and gives good customer support and good customer service you definitely owe it to yourself to check out DiMarzio pickups mm -hmm.